So I just watched the clip, and Joe Biden this morning totally disparaged and insulted the black community. What he said is incredible, and I don't know what's going on with him, but it was a very insulting statement he made, and I guess you'll figure that out. You'll see it in a little while. But it was a great insult to the black community. Uh, we're going to Ohio. We have great things happening in Ohio. Uh, we have a, uh, a lot of wonderful things happening for the country. I'll probably be talking to you a little bit later about the coronavirus. We're going to try and keep that at about the same time. We have a lot of good information, some new information. Vaccines are doing very, very well. We had some good talks this morning on vaccines and on therapeutics. A lot of good things are happening, right? On the vaccine? I am. I'm optimistic that it'll be probably around that date. I believe we'll have the vaccine before the end of the year, certainly, but around that date, yes, I think so. It wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt, but I'm not doing that. I'm doing it not for the election. I want it fast because I want to save a lot of lives. Um, you were talking about people dying of coronavirus. You said that's true and it is what it is. You used the words, it is what it is. Is that the message? No, you look at the statement I made right after that. Because if you look it is at. what it is, but that doesn't mean we aren't doing everything we can. Yeah. But you and said I said something after that, too. What message so so, you so the message that I have is very simple. Nobody can do what I've done in terms of all of the things that we're doing to uh, combat this horrible disease that never should have been sent to us, that was sent, it came from China, should never have been allowed to leave China. They could have easily done something. They stopped it from coming into China, but they didn't stop it from coming into the U.S. and Europe and the rest of the world. And China should have done something about it. And frankly, it's a disgrace that they didn't. Mr. President, are you be talking to Governor Cuomo when you're in New York? We'll be talking to Governor Cuomo. Uh, they're looking to do a project, the Second Avenue subway, as you know, and we're talking about that. We're also talking about the tram from the airport to a certain location. So we'll be talking to him, yes. But this weekend, are you going to meet with him, or? Uh, I think they have something scheduled, maybe in Bedminster. Yeah. What evidence have you seen about children being immune from this virus? All you have to do is read the newspapers or read the, read the medical reports. Well, the CDC, the CDC, Mr. President, says there's a... Well, we're going to see. What China did is a terrible thing. Whether it was in confidence or in purpose, it was a terrible thing that they did to the world. Not only to the United States, but to the world. A terrible thing. I just heard about that. That's a very terrible thing that just happened. I think the NRA should move to Texas and lead a very good and beautiful life. And I've told them that for a long time. I think they should move to Texas. Texas would be a great place or to another state of their choosing. But I would say that Texas would be a great place and an appropriate place for the NRA. This has been going on for a long time. They've been absolutely decimated by the cost of that lawsuit. And it's very sad, but I would suggest that that's what they should be doing. Thank you.